trying to get a few paddle grabs for um, the bait. This, this net, this trap, just sits in the back of my bonnet, my little car, and um, I just call upon it when I need it. But I've got some squid for bait, so if it does fail, then I've, I've still got a plan B. So, but this is the difference between a decent fish, usually, and not. The current is taking us further away from my gear. Try not to get swept in. And at the end of the day, it's only bloody bait. Um, but I'm just sort of showing you this footage of what it's like and how difficult it can be sometimes to get bait, good bait. But it's worth the risk. Um, I say risk, I mean, it's worth the aggravation. Um, it's not too bad today. But it's, um, usually, you could, you, could, you, could, you could attempt this a lot easier if it was flat calm obviously but it has been blowing a little bit east today we've still got a bit of swell see the bait trap is actually struggling to get out in the gutter there's a gutter just behind here and i i can't i can't get too close to it before a wave gets me you see and it's not worth me getting absolutely saturated to get it in that gutter you see you know? so it's very very awkward but i have you know sometimes even when it's like this you could still get a few you'd be surprised you think these paddle crabs you think nah they'll be just you know settled on the bottom there but you'd be surprised they can sort of um they call paddle crabs they can swim so they smell it once they smell that chicken frame once they smell it that's it they want it and they'll certainly smell it in this in this in this wash so i'm just hoping see it's moving into a I put some stones in there as well. Put some big, big, biggest sort of stones um, for um, counterbalance. Sorry, for ballast. Um, just to sort of just to keep it down. So I'll let you know if I get some. All right. Take it easy, people.